Manufacturing in China is already as tough as finishing a puzzle. Yeah, that's right. We're promoting China. I'm not gonna tell poor Jaden here that you're taking manufacturing back to your own country, are you? Manufacturing sucks in the country. Cut, 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 Jaden. Come on, bro. We talked about this. You gotta ease them into it. But it does suck. China is cheaper and better quality. All right, let's try this. Take it easy. Show them what you made. All right, Jaden. Let's tell them about this quality myth. People think China only make cheap product. Not true. China make best quality product. Way better than your Oh, take it easy. Jeez, Jaden, where do you learn those bad words, bro? All right, look, I'm a big Mandarin speaking white guy in China running a contract manufacturing company called Morpho MFG. Jaden is one of 40 team members. And he's a little bit sensitive because people sometimes talk badly about China on our videos. Sticks and stones, Jaden. Ignore the keyboard warriors and Twitter fingers. Oh, yes! The truth is, it's not everybody. We get inquiries every single day from people all over the world who are looking to manufacture their product in China. There's not a single factory in the world that can make a multi-component product all by themselves. You need a network of suppliers to piece together all the components of your product to make it perfect. Our new customers will often learn about this when they get on the phone with one of our business development managers and they walk them through the component control. On this call, they realize that we also have a charismatic Chinese negotiator who visits our network of factories almost every day. His job is to renegotiate better terms for the book of business owners who are using our supply chain network. And when they see that we need somebody on payroll whose full-time job is to negotiate with factory owners on their behalf, they begin to see the manufacturing process for what it really is. A complicated puzzle with many different moving parts. Pretty overwhelming for those who try to deconstruct it on their own. Now, with our process, it means that we can get faster response times and that our suppliers and network care more when manufacturing our products. It's the secret to our success and we call it the component control method. I have written an article that teaches you how to use the method when manufacturing your very own products. All right, in the article below, we're gonna show you five things that are super important to making your product perfect. Number one, specialized components. If you work with factories that make perfect components, you're gonna end up with the perfect product. It's natural, but most people don't think about it in reverse engineer and break it down. We're gonna show you why that's important. Number two, IP protection. We're gonna break it down. Your product at the end of the day has a goal right here. You can't let the factories know what that goal is. You have to break it down and work with the specialized factories to ensure that your product is built one step at a time and nobody knows what the end goal is. Number three, why companies like Apple and all the big tech companies that make hardware in the world use strategies similar to the component control method to ensure that number one, their quality is high, but also that their margins are high too. Number four, why Foxconn, the, one of the contract manufacturers for Apple, uses similar strategies why they're so detail oriented, why are they so focused on being perfect throughout the entire process to ensure that that end goal is met. And then number five, we're gonna give you a case study from one of our customers, Cub Coats, who recently had a series A investment at a very high valuation. And we're gonna break down exactly how we use the component control method to make their product perfect. Check out the link below.